get it caught. Then let's go get them caught with it. Can y'all say that? Can y'all say let's go get them? <laughs> Measy, where are we right now? Uh, <laughs> let's go get them. Let's go get them. Come on, y'all. Come on, say. Let's go get them. There we go. Work everybody. Let's go get them. Let's go. Let's hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna, gonna let the, I'm, 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 let the, I'm let the rapper take wait, over. Wait, you no, can't no, no. sit down and go get him. I need some people to stand. There we go, Measy. I, I told you. I'm you feel rapper. like we going to get him. We're in trouble. We're going to get him with the good. Yeah. We're going to get him with the love. Yeah. We're going to take over the thing. Yeah. That's what we about to do. Y'all ready to do that up in here tonight? What about the three in front of you? I know, right? Uh, I need some energy over go, here. I need some let's go get them energy. There we go, there we go, there we go. I need some, that's, uh, see, I like it's, that. It's Mardi Gras Day. All right, now it's looking like home. It's, it's Mardi Gras Day in New Orleans. Now it's looking like home. And we about to go meet another tribe. Y'all ready to go get them? We about to go meet that other tribe. Y'all ready to go get them? We going to meet a tribe from way downtown. Y'all ready to go get them? Let's hit it. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. No, no. Here we go. Let's go get up. Let's go get up. No, no, no. Let's go get up. Y'all gotta say it with me. Let's go get up. Nah, I'm not gonna say it with me. Let's go get up. There we go now. Let's go get up. Let's go get up. Everybody. Let's go get up. Oh, let's go get up. 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 There we go. Let's go get on my heart. 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 Let's go
to bask in the sanctuary of his delightful getaway and he doesn't believe that it's asking too much for the nightmare dreamer to control his outbursts and suffer his horrors in silence. Images in popular culture be hurt more brothers than Johnny Weissmuller in a 1940 Tarzan movie. Gangster images be beating the pants off young brothers, tying them to images they should be trying to escape. Desperados are born in hoods where low-lying dreams hang like distant fantasies. Innocence is the bloody mark of the victim smells like pussy, makes the wolves crazy. Its aroma arouses their senses like the pungent scent of raw flesh, so the softest souls fabricate hardcore facades, try to keep the dogs off their bones. Sheep run with wolves, chickens learn to bark, tragic casualties of poverty. And fear. Fear is like bad gas. Everybody has to deal with it at some point, but nobody's claiming ownership. It is the coward's perspiration, the burnt refuse of a piss pumping heart. So dudes learn to camouflage their fears with gold tooth smiles, menacing tattoos, and mad dog stares. Because in the hood, fear is for hoes. But in reality, it's suicide logic. Some dudes posture when they shit run. Fuck it. I'll die. Let them come. You got to get it like you live, dogs. So dogs eat dogs. We growing up hood, our king's English was a white paper bag test. If our words didn't genuflect off our tongue politely landing on all listening ears while silently pandering, we are not menaces, we are assimilated niggas. The outsiders would judge us harshly. And we wouldn't give a fuck, but they would judge us harshly. Our communities were seen as leprous colonies of thieves, containing only active criminals of future ones. So black boys, handcuffed and spread eagle on the ground, can end up with the bullet in the head placed there by those who are supposed to protect and serve. It's the police running their negative action programs with kangaroo courts popping out of the trunk of their cruisers, all decked out with an instant trial and a hanging judge. You can catch a bullet and not have to wait. And when the innocent amongst us was befallen by the viciousness of the friendly fire, the collective consciousness of the outsiders was at peace, resting on a casualty of war euphemism for an act that was anything but casual. That was an innocent child of God lying there. When growing up hood, we learned that guts and brains splattered across sidewalks, all of the same. 
regardless of a person's color or class. But that a pound of black flesh must weigh less than a pound of white flesh. Why else would our victimization be so grossly less substantial? When growing up hood, we learned that our that we were not granted the same individual rights and freedoms as other Americans. This is what we learned when growing up hood. Give me something easy. Give me something. Easy. All right. This is my business.